Avatars are pretty common in the online world. Pretty much everybody has them, especially since it's frequently used on social media. Speaking of social media, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg recently got roasted after posting his soulless metaverse selfie on the internet. But what does this mean for the rest of the community, and how did the Facebook executive react to the criticism? Keep on watching today's video to find out. We're not gonna lie, we're concerned about our future in the digital age after Mark Zuckerberg's soulless metaverse avatar was made public recently. In the past two years, the term metaverse has gained a lot of popularity as a buzzword. It is a metaverse Fortnite. Blockchain and Web3 will support the metaverse's energy needs. Perhaps there will even be cows involved? Nobody, however, seems more committed to influencing how we, a society, perceive the metaverse than Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook and Meta. Unfortunately, Zuckerberg's image of our magnificent virtual future looks dull, drab, uninspired, and frankly awful, which is bad news for anyone eager to experience it. Additionally, it's a good reminder that the future shouldn't be run by affluent tech guys. Just last week, Mark Zuckerberg, the alien in a human skin suit, posted a virtual reality selfie from inside his company's Horizon Worlds Metaverse project. The selfie that featured the Eiffel Tower was intended to signal the expansion of his metaverse into new nations. However, as soon as they saw the awful avatar, awful photo, and how it all appeared to have come straight out of a 2005 educational game, people started to make fun of it. Strangely, this isn't the first time Zuck has flaunted repulsive representations of himself to entice people people into his nightmare world driven by virtual reality. If the intention was to reconstruct the multi-billionaire CEO as a smooth cartoonish avatar you could see in a fever dream, Zuckerberg used an ugly as sin avatar that loosely resembled him to showcase the VR software Facebook spaces back in 2017. Oh, and for some reason, he decided that the best way to promote this app and his hideous avatar was to travel to Puerto Rico via video. After the island had been devastated by a devastating hurricane that killed hundreds of people and destroyed many of its houses and businesses. The Facebook creator made a comeback in 2021 with an improved avatar, although it debuted in a video demonstrating Facebook and Meta's ambitious metaverse goals. This avatar isn't genuine. Instead, it was produced as a component of a bigger concept video that explained what Meta was aiming for. Even still, this avatar has the appearance of a Polar Express crash victim. And that gets us to 2022, where Zuckerberg's online persona is a leckless Nintendo me copycat with some incredibly strange buttons and a corpse's eyes. And it's not only how Zuckerberg looks, in Horizon Worlds, this is how all avatars look. We've played Horizon Worlds long enough to know that the legs are quickly forgotten, but the absence of style and the sterile, lifeless look remains. Indeed, Quest 2's limited VR hardware and Facebook's ambition to create VR content that works on as many devices as possible contribute to the plain and uninteresting appearance of these avatars and environments in comparison to more recent video games. On the other hand, compared to what we've seen so far in Facebook's metaverse, we can discover games for the Nintendo DS and Sony PSV that have sharper, nicer looking imagery and models. Furthermore, we don't believe that the people who make this stuff are to blame, as we believe they are more than capable of producing things that are better and more interesting. Instead, they are focusing on creating a product that the general public can consume without any distinguishing qualities to draw in more consumers. The more socially driven VR metaverses like VR Chat, which look better and feel cozier and more inviting, take the exact opposite tack. Horizon Worlds, in contrast, has the appearance of an animal animated film we might see while browsing a posh hospital's waiting room. And if Mark Zuckerberg is putting billions of dollars into this bland and ugly metaverse as the future he envisions, I'm concerned that it might prevail over other, better options simply because he has the financial means to squelch or acquire rivals. At least we'll be able to skip it and avoid purchasing a new VR headset if it prevails. Since pretty much everyone already shared their opinions on Zuckerberg's latest avatar, what did he have to say in response to the backlash? Keep on watching to find out. Given Meta's power over our virtual history and present, we personally would find it understandable if Mark Zuckerberg's more recent selfie irritated you. However, you may take comfort in the fact that Mark Zuckerberg is aware of your feelings. He notices you. And no, he basically replies, the metaverse won't appear so bizarre. Hopefully not permanently. The execu continued with some empathy. 
quote, Also, I know the photo I posted earlier this week was pretty basic. It was taken very quickly to celebrate a launch. This error was similar to a very realistic act, sharing a late night selfie that you later regret. Another avatar and an old looking cafe with subtle details that are more Pixar like and less e card like were incorporated in the meta boss's response. In addition, Zuckerberg assured his fans that Horizon is advancing swiftly and that Meta's avatars and graphics are, quote, capable of far more, even on headsets. We sincerely hope he is correct for the good of everyone. But is Mark Zuckerberg's latest avatar an improved version of the last one? We think so. It does appear better with these pictures. This time there is lighting and his avatar's face has a genuine expression. It still doesn't exactly appear to be a place where one would like to spend time, but we think that depends on who's looking at it. You may play Horizon Worlds with a Quest VR headset. In the first two months following its launch in December 2021, it increased to 300,000 users, and in February, the Horizon World's Twitter account announced that more than 10,000 new worlds had been created. However, Meta hasn't made it clear how it intends to control the expanding platform. As part of Meta's ongoing product expansion, Horizon Worlds will be available on mobile devices. To be more like Roblox, Horizon Worlds also introduced in-world purchases for a handful of developers. In fact, when Zuckerberg first envisioned Horizon Worlds, it did resemble that specific children's game platform quite a bit. Even the major publishers in the 1990s 90s had trouble determining whether emulators were legal or constituted piracy due to the particular nature of the market for them. So it came as a surprise when Steve Jobs announced that PlayStation games would soon be available for Macs on stage at Macworld 1999. In other non-meta news, Mark Zuckerberg became a hot topic as of late because a family had sued the billionaire after he offered only $7,500 after the death of a worker. The unfortunate and seemingly insignificant death of a worker at a Hawaiian property owned by Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan resulted in a meager $7,500 reimbursement to the man's family, according to a lawsuit. This is despite their combined net worth of $62.8 billion. On August 4th, 2019, Rodney Medeiros, 70 years old, passed away from a heart attack he had while on the Kaula Ranch. According to Hawaii News Now, his family is suing Zuckerberg's business, Pila Land LLC, for negligence and wrongful death. According to the lawsuit, Medeiros was employed as a part-time security guard assigned to the Pila Beach, which is located at the foot of a precipitous hill. At the beginning and conclusion of the shifts, according to his daughter Zeba, he would be driven down to his position, but on August 4th, because of severe rains, he had to hike up the hill alone. Subsequently, a guard discovered him clinging to his chest and leaning against a tree. He later passed away in a hospital. The ranch's four-wheelers could have been used in the heavy rain, according to the family's attorneys, with just a one thousand dollar update to the tires. They claim that a week after his passing, a security manager for the Zuckerbergs went to the family and expressed the couple's sad for the loss and their offer of an open sum of money. Zeba didn't specify a sum, but a few days later, a check for $7,500 showed up. She questioned, it's $7,500 for our father's life? Is this supposed to make it okay? In a letter to the Daily Beast, Zuckerberg's family spokesperson Ben LeBolt said that the money was a gesture made by Mark and Priscilla, that it was intended to help with burial and funeral expenses. Medeiros was an employee with a contracted security business, LeBolt said. He claimed that the staff of the property dialed 911 right away and dispatched nearby medics, who transported a conscious and talkative Medeiros to an ambulance. As soon as he learned about the incident, security manager Hank Bariga went to the hospital to meet Mr. Medeiros. All of the Kula Ranch's cars, he continued, received routine expert maintenance. All drivers are required to complete a training program before they're allowed to operate any vehicles on the property. And that's about everything we have as of late regarding Mark Zuckerberg. What are your thoughts about the direction Meta is moving towards? Let us know in the comments section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bells on for more videos like these, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.